Is the internet really down? That is something that you might hear when you have a job in IT. Hi, I'm Ronnie Wong, and in this episode of How to Get Started in IT, I'll show you five ways that you can really test if the internet is down. All right, so there's no doubt that you might hear at some office somewhere that the internet is down, but we need to figure out how we can actually really test for that. So the first way that we can do it is that we will need to be able to find our own IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. And the best way to do this is with a utility that we call, well, ipconfig. Using ipconfig through our command prompt, we'll actually be able to do all of that that we need, and that will help us. That information will be very valuable for us. So we want to make sure that we write that information down. All right, so the second way that you want to be able to test if the internet is really down is to use a utility from that same command line actually called ping. Now ping is a very important one because it tests for connectivity. In other words, can you actually reach some place that you need to? And this is a basic connectivity test in this way. So you want to bring that command prompt up and you type in the word ping and then you're looking for that default gateway that we talked about in that first way that we used IP config. You want to ping that address and that should give you some responses that come back or some replies. Now, if it actually does there, then you're actually good, and that means you can reach the edge of your network, which you're not out on the internet yet. Secondly, then, you want to issue that ping command again, and then to 8.8.8.8, .8 and that is an IP address that's out there on the internet, and that should allow you to get some replies back. If you have that tested out, then the internet itself is not down, but they may still have an issue when they're trying to connect, and that's what they're really trying to tell you. It's not that the internet is down, but that they're having an issue trying to get to maybe a website that they need to get to. So that's where we want to actually go to our third tip that we can actually use here, which is we want to test for what we call name resolution. You and I don't browse the internet by using these IP addresses like 8.8.8.8, but we use the internet by actually going to websites. So you can actually simply launch your browser and you want to be able to type in the address there a name, such as www itpro.tv and if that website pops up for you that means it went out and retrieved some information from the internet and came back and presented that in your browser so that actually tests the way that we would normally use the internet connection now if that's not working that does indicate that there may be a problem but the internet itself is not completely down but we have a problem with something that we call name resolution and we can use that information to help us to see if that resolves so that might be something else that you want to write down as well, is the name that you tried to actually be able to test using your browser and that you couldn't get access to it. Now, the fourth one is not necessarily always necessary for us, but there is another way that we can test. Sometimes what happens is that you get a response that comes back when you ask for help. Say, hey, what is your public IP address? Now, what that means is that you might actually be sitting behind a single router but your entire network is actually represented by a single public IP address. And that means you need to figure out how to get that IP address itself. So the great thing is you can do this fairly simply. You open up your browser once again, so you bring that up, and then you can type in ipunicorn.com, and that will automatically bring up this web page that will display the public IP address that you have representing you on the internet. Now there's plenty of them out there. Another one that I like to use is ipmonkey.com and that one will also give you the public IP address but it'll even give you the name of the browser that you're looking at and maybe even some other details that might be very helpful as well. Now all of that actually is fairly helpful information that if you're getting all that, more than likely the internet itself is not down but they are having a particular issue with trying to get access to something. If you had anything along those picker four tips that, that didn't work for you. So what is our fifth way? Well, getting all that information is actually gonna to lead to our fifth way, which is asking for help in a way that's really gonna be helpful. Now, when you call on support and they ask you what it is that you've actually done, well, now you can tell them, I know what my IP address is. I know what the default gateway is. I know that I can reach the internet or I can't reach the internet using name resolution, if you wanna use that fancy term. You can even tell them, I even know what my public IP address is as well. And if you're still having issues in terms of connectivity, in other words, getting out to the internet and you're actually saying it's down, well, this will at least help validate something like that. So that way you can ask those questions and then an IT person uh, that you might need more help from will actually be very helpful to you. 
or maybe you're actually supporting a particular help desk user uh, or you're a help desk uh, personnel and you're actually supporting a user that needs this, well, you can go to their desk and also provide that as well. Now, I do have to put a caveat in there. It might be that your machines are locked down at work and you don't get access to the command line. Well, if you don't, that means you really just have to ask for help and then somebody will actually probably do these very steps that we talked about here. So those five steps will actually help you out. But if you have any additional tips for testing internet connectivity, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to see all of our videos. I'm Ronnie Wong, and we'll see you next time right here on How to Get Started in IT.